Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome. And this is the Married to Medicine, Season 9, Episode 15, The Finale. Okay? The Finale, y'all. All right? I'm not going to keep you long because I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is kind of going out. And I have still got to do the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Reunion Part 2. So I got to save some voice for that. All right? All right. So... Without further ado, let's get started. All right, it opens with the couples each under blankets with their partners. And Dr. Jackie introduces an erotic educator and sex goddess to the group <laughs> named Taylor. And um, I, I just, um, uh-uh. <laughs> this, this woman says that she travels around the world teaching adults about sexual health and wellness. <sighs> that sounds very interesting. Um, she suggests asking your partner how do they like to have sex, uh, which is mind-boggling to me that, that a couple could enter into sexual relation without even knowing what the person likes. Uh-uh. It just, it just doesn't sound right. Anyway, and then Taylor says that she has a husband and three boyfriends. <laughs> and she introduces the sex pillows, which are good for deeper penetration, along with, um, you know, helping the man's neck not get tired. Um, anyway, <laughs> and I'm leaving that alone. I'm leaving that right there without further comment, okay? Moving right along. All right, cut to uh, separate conversations about inviting people in the marriage. Um, and when I say separate, it's the men, they go outside to smoke cigars and talk about it. The women stay inside and talk about it. And... I think it was Dr. Heavenly asked them, what do they think about um, inviting other people in, into their marriage? Um, <clears throat> I am not married, but I'm going to say, for me, it'd be a hell no. Okay, okay. And that's all I'm saying about it. I, I'm not getting ready to talk about no sex because I'm, you know, dating and stuff. And that ain't a conversation I'm getting ready to have on my platform. Um to protect the innocent, okay? Anyway, um, Contessa and Heavenly argue again. Toya and Quad argue again. Toya says that Quad is jealous of her, um, which I'm, I was wondering of what exactly. Like, I, I, if I was in the room, I'd, I'd have to ask Toya to be more, can you be more specific, okay, ma'am? I would interrogate her about that as if we were in court. Um, cause I need more specifics. Anyway, Quad says you can't, eat, you can't keep a effing house and you got a man. And she said, I said what I said and I ain't coming off of it. Now, um, shouts out to, to Nene Leakes, the first one that, I, that made it iconic for that. I said what I said. Anyway, Nene Leakes from uh, Real House of Atlanta at one of the reunions when she was talking to, um, 
Candy, and then Candy said, and what you said was some, <laughs> anyway, all right, uh, back to the Beverly Hill, I mean, ooh, excuse me, back to the Married to Medicine women's, um, so yeah, and they show the time lapsing, and it, they, the editing made it seem like Quad was back there fussing for a whole hour, <laughs> I don't know if I believe that you guys, I don't think Kwai was, I mean, they could have had a conversation for an hour, but I don't know, they am all standing around for a whole hour listening to just Kwai talking, I don't, I don't think so, but anyway, that was funny, that was hilarious to me, moving right along, now cut to the next day. Damon is telling Heavenly about forgiveness, and she says it's okay not to forgive. I think she's talking about Contessa not forgiving her, I guess, or accepting, you know, her many apologies. And she's saying she's okay with it. Alrighty. Now, cut to Jackie and Simone talking alone, and Jackie feels like um, now, as it pertains to Contessa and Heavenly, and Jackie feels like if you don't want your husband talked about, then don't bring it up. And Simone says, as a friend, I should be able to talk about anything, including my husband, but just don't cross that boundary. And I am going to agree with Simone on like in a general basis friend to friend yes you know as friends you should be able to talk about anything and everything and and without them crossing a boundary that is 100 percent true now where dr jackie is coming from ooh, look look at me i don't got serious and called a doctor okay um but where <laughs> jackie is coming from is you said those things on television. You put those things out there to the world first. And then someone, your friend comments on what you've already put out there. So Dr. Jackie's point was like, it's not like Heavenly just made it up. And I do remember that season she spent, that was her storyline. Okay, let's not act like that was not this lady's storyline. That was this lady's storyline. So, you know, it is what it is. Shit, really. You put it out there, you use it as a storyline, and since, you know, Heavenly reviews it, she talks about their storyline. So, yeah, she's going to have to remark about it. Um, But anyway, anyway, moving along because that's beating a dead horse and I'm done with it. All right, and then there's a cut to Contessa telling Scott, I'm sorry for putting Heavenly in our life. She is being overly dramatic, and Scott don't even give a damn. So I'm like, girl, stop, because she even reach out and touch his shoulder and, and try to softly say, I'm sorry for putting Heavenly in our life, as if he was over there crying or some shit needed to be consoled. Girl, what, 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 what the... He was looking confused as to why she was even saying that, but he he looked like he forgot that, you know, she's being dramatic for, you know, to act like this is a big problem because this was her storyline. So, you know, I think he forgot that because um, he looked confused as to why she was apologizing to him about Dr. Heavenly. He, he didn't understand what was going on. Shit. Um, anyway, anyway, moving along. All right, cut to them having church in the woods, as Scott calls it. And Karen, which is Anila's husband, asks them if there's certain etiquette for black church. And I honestly wonder if their producers told him to ask that so that they could have this scene. Um, because why else? would you ask that um however the scene was funny and miss quad miss quad she got it she got it her ass talking about um black church is very theatrical and in her confessional <laughs> she explains a lot of it 
And I have to say, I saw all of that growing up. I did. I did. Even the finger pointing in that Contessa did, you know, to go to the restroom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I saw that. I saw that. And when I was little, I, I did not understand walking across a room of folks with one finger pointed up. I, I just always thought they was pointing to God. Like, saying, oh, yes, Lord. Like, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know they had to use the bathroom. I didn't know what was going on. I was just like, big ups to God, okay? Um, continuing on. All right, and cut to them having, I think it was brunch or lunch. Anyway, and Adra and Martin announces her pregnancy, the growth in her belly, her uterus. Anyway, Heavenly uh, wants to be the God Mama. At some point, we see Dr. Jackie in her confessional say, "Of course, I'm the doctor. Uh, of course, I'm her." Or oh, actually, um, Curtis asks, "Who's gonna be Audra's, um, you know, doctor?" And Dr. Jackie looked at him and said, "Of course, it's gonna be me." She said, and then she looked back at the camera and said, "I'm Dr. Jackie." I said, "Bitch, you better come on. You, you better come on." Okay, you better come on. Now, see, it's late at night where I'm at right now. Otherwise, I would have hollered uh, louder than that. But, um, <laughs> she said, me, of course. Looked at that camera and said, I'm Dr. Jackie. I said, girl, only thing you missing is a cape. Okay. Okay, anyway, um, because I did hear that Dr. J, and we have seen across different shows, um, Dr. Jackie being the doctor in all of these Atlanta-based reality shows. I've seen her sprinkled in all of them. Okay? Okay. 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 Shit. But this was the first time me um, seeing her just own it. Like, yeah. I'm that one. I'm that chick. I'm that doctor. Okay? I got Atlanta, baby. I got Atlanta. Okay? Like, shit. She said, I'm Dr. Jackie. You better come on. All right. Ooh, that, I loved it. 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 The same way, you know, and I can see in that, I can see what um, Jackie and Heavenly has in common. Because that's some shit that Heavenly would say, too. Like, like you know, she got uh, the, the, the cosmetic dentistry locked down in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So... That exuding that confidence and it being well deserved is is beautiful. As as two black women, it's beautiful. Okay, it's it's beautiful. So anyway, now ending this finale, Heavenly does say that she'll be more mindful when it comes to her YouTube channel. But in the end of it all, the friendships are still fractured now that's me saying that indigo i'm saying in the end the friendships are still fractured okay so and i know that heavenly mentioned that um you know they completed recording the reunion and i can't wait for it the way that uh, heavenly is talking about it but she said before she even had clothes on she said she was in her trailer getting ready for it uh getting makeup applied and stuff and she said the Contessa came in her trailer to confront her. And she said that she got so scared she ran out. Now, I don't know if she was just joking about being so scared that she ran out of her trailer. But, um, <laughs> but one thing that she did say that I respect and I completely understand. Um, she said, I'm not getting in no fight. She said, uh, these arms are, are worth a lot of money. She said, these arms are worth millions. And she was talking about her arms. So she said, I ain't getting in no damn fight. She said, please. And I and I understood that. Not that my, my arms are not worth millions, not yet anyway, okay? But um, but I understood that. And, and that's the stands of professional women or just professional women and people who do recognize and they are self-aware that they do have things to lose okay um they do have some f's to give about certain things and she give f's about her million dollar making arms so and who blames her who could blame her who could blame her so maybe she did run out that trailer she said she ran out that trailer when she came in there trying to confront her um, <laughs> 
<laughs> all right so um until next time you guys be safe all right live the happiest life that you can um consider other people's feelings when you are talking that's some of the biggest you know lessons that we got from this entire season of married to medicine and i will see you guys when they play the reunion all right thank you so much for your support please be sure to click like and subscribe comment and share all right all right bye